Hey y'all, my name is Corey Ashton and this is another WordPress Wednesday. Today we are looking at a really cool solution for the Divi theme. If you follow my channel, you know that I love the Divi theme. So I use it on Ask Corey, I use it for clients' websites, I absolutely love it. Uh, today I ran into a little bit of an issue where I needed a pop-up solution. I wanted to have a text trigger an open modal or a pop-up to happen, right? Where I wanted a form or a calendar invite to sit inside of that solution. So I did some digging around. I found this solution. I want to show you how to use this, how to plug it in. It is a premium solution, but I think it's completely worth your while. Let me show you because it takes just a couple of minutes. Hey you guys, this is brought to you by Liquid Web, the most helpful humans in hosting. If you are running a WordPress website, which I assume you are because you're using Divi, you probably want to check them out for the best hosting around, great security, fast loading websites, and I'll put a coupon code in the description box below so you can save some dollars. All right, let's get to the tutorial. Specifically, the plugin I'm talking about is from DiviLife.com. It is called Divi Overlays. It is a premium license, so that means you have to pay for it, and you can buy it annually. I went ahead and did it for unlimited. Actually, I went ahead and did it for a lifetime because I know I'm gonna use this on a lot of websites that I'm building out, and I know that I'm gonna be using it um, as long as I run Divi, right? So I went ahead and invested in the lifetime license. They also have an all access license you might wanna take a look at. It's pretty incredible. You get a lot more other uh, child themes and different plugins that they've got available that they've built specifically to connect with the Divi theme. I'll put a link to this in the description box below if you want to use that link. I'd appreciate it. It is an affiliate link, but that's not the reason why I'm bragging on it because seriously, guys, I mean, this thing's pretty amazing. Once you've logged in, you just navigate back over to the plugin that you want to be using, go into that page specifically, and instead of a purchase price now, it's going to have a download button option for you. Here it is right here. Now you can just go ahead and download it and that'll save a zip file onto your hard drive. Now that you have that on your hard drive, you can jump into your WordPress dashboard and let's go to the plugins area. You'll click add new, go to upload plugin. Since this is a premium plugin, it doesn't live in the regular repo area that you normally go to. You're gonna go ahead and go here and choose file and get it from your downloads, right? Of course, you want to install that zipped file. It only will accept a zipped format. Once it's installed, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and click activate. Now that that's active, you'll see it here. It says Divi Overlays. And on the left side over here, we will now have a custom post type called Divi Overlays. The first thing that it's gonna ask you though is to go ahead and activate your API key so that you show that you have proof of purchase, right? So in order to get that, you just jump back over to your account. You're gonna run into your account area. Once you're on your account area, you'll see this area here that says license keys. We wanna click view licenses, right? This is in case you purchase different products separately. I did an all access pass and you see this little area here, this column that says key with a little key. You'll click on that and this will open up and reveal to you your license key. That's what you wanna copy and paste back over in your dashboard. For now, for security purposes, I'm gonna do this off camera. Once you have that on your clipboard, you're gonna come back over to your dashboard. Here it says, click here to activate that license. If you want to, you can go over to Divi Overlays and go to settings, it takes you to the same screen. This is right where you'll be typing in your license key again. Uh, for security purposes, I'm gonna go ahead and just do this off screen. You'll click save changes, and then it says license status, right? We wanna activate license. Now it'll give you the date, it'll tell you when that license expires, and we wanna click save changes. Now, before we get going any further, I wanna show you one little extra tip that I figured out kind of the hard way. If you go into Divi and go to theme options, I want us to go ahead and allow the builder to work on Divi overlays. So follow me again. I went to Divi theme options and in here you can go over here to builder and you wanna be certain that it is enabled for Divi overlays. We want the Divi builder to be able to work inside of this overlays area so we can do anything we want inside of those pop-ups. So once you've enabled that, you can click save changes. Now we can go create our first Divi overlay. Click add new. You 
can name it anything you'd like. We're going to name it Testing Pop-Up for now. And I want to go ahead and use the Divi Builder inside of here. I'm going to go ahead and build from scratch for now. You can do really anything you want because we know how to use the Divi Builder, right? So super easy to do. I'm going to do a countdown timer. Let's do it for April 17. And that is the start of WordCamp Atlanta, where I will be going and speaking. How cool is that? Click OK. And then I want to put a button in there uh, for buy tickets. All right. And we're going to put a link in there over to WordCamp Atlanta. Grab that URL and copy it onto my clipboard. Jump back in here and paste it in. We're going to go ahead and say open in a new tab and click OK. All right, simply done. That's what I want. I'm going to scroll down a little bit further down past Yoast. I'm going to zip some of this up. What I want to do is go ahead and set the overlay for the background color. I just want to do kind of a darker shade here. And if you want to manipulate the opacity, you can do that as well. Play around with the opacity there. And then if you want to change your font color, you can do that as well. There are all sorts of additional settings here on this right side, just so you know. There's some animation settings that you can play around with for how the um, overlay animates as it opens. I'm just going to keep it with the standard fade and slide option here. Scrolling down, you have some additional options for locations. Um, you can set it to have different categories that it's triggering on, only display on select pages, display with automatic triggers. There's all sorts of different things that you can do here in this premium plugin. There's really a lot of bang for your buck. It's pretty spectacular. But in order to move quickly through this tutorial, and I just want to show you kind of how to quickly get it done, I want you to come up here and highlight and copy to your clipboard the CSS ID. This is a unique ID that we need inside of our website so that it opens up this really cool modal. Here's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and click publish. And then I want us to go ahead and go over to our page where we want to have this little bit of text that's going to open up this really cool little pop up. And for now, what I'd like to do is go to the front side of our website and just kind of paste it in here just as a test. Um, you see regular text here and how it kind of links over. I want to show you how it, this can open up that modal. So here we go. We're going to enable the visual builder, come in here to our text, and we're just going to throw in some extra text here. Buy tickets to WordCamp Atlanta. 2020. See Corey speak. Right? There you go. So what I'd like to do is highlight all of this and be sure that that's going to be my pop up. So here's what we're going to do. I'm actually going to click out and go into this in kind of the editing mode here so that I can write some quick code around that. Let's see. Here's our language right here. And I'm just going to go ahead and put just a simple right here's our link that's all we're doing a simple link here we go i'm going to go in here and i'm going to put a pound sign and i'm going to say open dash overlay don't worry if you can't see my screen very well i'll put all this in the description box below it'll be sim super simple for you to to handle we're going to say id equals open quotes and we're going to paste in that unique identifier that we have on our clipboard and if you forgot it, don't worry about it. All you have to do is come over to your Divi overlays. And this is that unique identifier right there, overlay unique ID. That's what we want to come and bring back here. We're going to paste it in and then put a follow up quote mark. And there you go. That is literally all you have to do. Check the box. Let's test it. Click save. It looks just like regular text. We're going to go up here to the top and we're going to exit the visual builder. And now that that's disabled, you're basically viewing it like anybody else would. Let's click and watch the modal pop up. There we go. Here's the background and buy tickets right there. You could really do anything you want inside of that modal, right? You can put a form if you wanted to. You can put a calendar sign up area if you wanted to. You can fill up the whole screen with anything you want. You can put a whole different URL inside of there. 
You can literally do anything you want to do inside of this cool modal pop-up. You can use a button to engage that pop-up. You can use a menu item to engage that pop-up. Anything you can think of, there's a way to do it. And what's really cool is this plugin actually has pretty phenomenal documentation. All of you who are on the Divi theme, be sure to check out my entire playlist that I have here for all sorts of different things that you can be doing inside of the Divi theme. And be sure to give me a tweet or send me an email. Let me know how you're using the Divi theme out there in the world. I'd love to check out your website. All right, be sure to like this video, click subscribe, and I'll see you next WordPress Wednesday. Bye, everyone. Just want you guys to check out my really cool new t-shirt I bought. Because um, whenever you're in San Antonio, this is the way it works, y'all. See y'all next time. Bye, everyone.